Can I ask you right now, is there something you would like to say to her? Mom, I just want you to know that I, I do love you and I try to make that a point for you to know how much I love you. And like I said in my post, I can't defend you. I can't hide anymore. The rules, what happens in the house stays in the house, can't apply anymore because this is bigger than me. Other people are being affected in their own lives. And if I'm able to have a voice and help something change, I'm going to speak out about it. And Jordan, you even wrote a song about your experience. Would you mind sharing some of those lyrics with your mother right now? Yeah, so I wrote a song last year after I found out that this was the abuse that I had gone through, and it's called Mommy's Good Girl. Um, I had written it to the tune of Concrete Angel, just to kind of show how intense of a song it was. Mm -hmm. um, so through the tests and the pain, she still smiled real big in a world she couldn't understand. And when mom would say she's sick, she was happy. Mommy was always by her side. Mommy's good girl. This little girl just turned 23. After two decades, she's finally breaking free. She took her power back and walked away. She still hopes that her mom gets better someday. Donna, did you hear that? And what do you want to say to your daughter? I love her with all my heart, but there were many times I thought she was making up her illness. You're seeing a therapist yes, right I now, am. right? Yes, I am. How's that going? It's going great. Donna, I just want to talk about when you self-reported fevers in Jordan of 107.2 or 107.3, a child with a sustained fever at that level is potentially brain dead. And you don't, you don't just walk around with temperatures of 107. That's, that's just not the way medicine works. And so your storyline doesn't make sense to me. Because if you're going to the doctor and telling the doctors how sick she is, a, 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 a baby can't make that stuff up. A baby doesn't have the mental capacity to make up sicknesses. So I, I, that's where I'm struggling, Donna, here. I'm, I'm giving you the floor, and I'm not taking an angle. I'm just telling you what we've read and, and what we've heard from your daughter, who, despite all this, still loves you. So you have an opportunity right now to maybe own up to some of this as she's listening to you. I don't know if the thermometer was wrong. That is why I would bring it with, to test it with theirs. That would be the only reason, and I have bought numerous different ones over the years with her, and, and she can shake her head all she wants, but he knows the truth. Donna, your daughter has been emphatically telling you how much she still cares about you, that she hopes that you get well, but that she cannot continue to support this lie that she believes you perpetuated on her. So what is your opinion of that? And what do you want to say to Jordan today? I want her to get help. I want her to get better. I'm willing to acknowledge that the doctors did say she would grow out of some of these as she grew older. I'm a mother who cares very much for her daughter and I love her deeply, I always have, I always will, and I never did anything to hurt her ever.